Imagine waking up one morning and finding the entirety of Twitter and Reddit gawking over nude photos of, well, you. That's what happened to numerous celebrities on August 31st of 2014. Rihanna, Kate Upton, Selena Gomez, Jennifer Lawrence, Vanessa Hudgens, just to name a few, their nude photos had somehow been leaked on the internet and were fair game for internet users. This massive celebrity nude photo leak would be given a name that would be remembered for years to come this name being The Fappening. But how exactly did The Fappening happen? How were the photos leaked? Who was responsible? And would someone be facing consequences for this? Well, it's a complicated story involving some 4chan shenanigans, Reddit corroboration, and a general air of insanity. So before we get into breaking The Fappening down, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by the top of the line in password protection, Dashlane. Learn a little bit more about them at the end of the video. Our story starts somewhere in the far reaches of the internet on an image board called Anon IB. This site was formatted similarly to 4chan and within it hosted a board that was dedicated to cracking leaks from the Apple iCloud and that board was called Stoll. In late August on a non-IB they were whispering that the boys over on Stoll had uncovered some juicy major win of a leak. Some guys on Stoll are hoarding a major win, just saying. What do you mean? I mean explicit vids and pics. See for yourself. Don't have it though, but everyone says it's legit. This major win of a leak was all just rumors, but several days later, out of nowhere, this massive celebrity leak of nude photos appeared over on 4chan's B forum. On August 31st, scandalous and nude photographs of over 100 female celebrities were posted to 4chan's B, including pictures of Jennifer Lawrence, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Kate Upton, Kirsten Dunst, Rihanna, Hilary Duff, Selena Gomez, Vanessa Hudgens, Kate Bosworth, Victoria Justice, and that's just naming some of them. Once the photos found themselves on 4chan, it wouldn't be long until they were disseminated to more mainstream facets of the internet. So after 4chan's B, these photos migrate over to Reddit. A nude photo of Kate Upton would be posted on the Kate Upton subreddit. Who would have thought there even was such a thing? And a nude photo of Jennifer Lawrence was posted on R Jennifer Lawrence. Within hours, these two photos found themselves on the front page of Reddit's all subreddit. And at this point, there was no going back with hundreds of thousands of Reddit users stumbling across these uncensored nude photos basically on the front page of the website. Everyone was sharing the photos with each other and saving them onto their computers. And throughout the day of August 31st, you would have more and more nude photos of celebrities turning up on Reddit. It was in the comment section for one of Kirsten Dunn's nudes where a Reddit user Exile on Mean Street makes the first mention of what I can find, which would be calling this leak the name that we know it as today. He says, I have dubbed this massive leak, The Fappening. And it's really unknown if this Redditor really came up with the Fappening nomenclature. It could have been made over on 4chan or it could have just been collectively some Redditors kind of came up with that name. But, but this is the first mentioning of that phrase that I could find. The Fappening subreddit would be formed by Redditor Johns McJohn and it became the official repository for those wishing to share and comment on the leaked celebrity nudes. Within 24 hours, the subreddit had 100,000 subscribers and was the fastest growing subreddit in the website's history. The overall traffic of Reddit as a whole drastically increased once word of the nude photos got out. An influx that led to over 141 million page views in one day. That's roughly what Ask Reddit gets in a month. And from Reddit, this nude photo leak would just spread even further to more mainstream facets like Twitter and Facebook. This nude photo leak was spreading outside of the internet. I had several friends in real life that were talking about the Jennifer Lawrence nudes. And speaking of Jennifer Lawrence, J-Law took a pretty big hit from this leak because many of the popular leaked photos were of her. And to add insult to injury, 4chan launched a fake hashtag campaign to feign support for J-Law. Hashtag leak for J-Law was used to encourage female Twitter users to post topless photographs of themselves in solidarity with Jennifer Lawrence under the banner of social justice. The chance for the worldwide trolling of a lifetime. Operation Solidarity for J-Law. The goal. Hundreds of thousands of girls are going to post their own topless and nude photos to Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr while holding handwritten solidarity for Jennifer signs. 
We need to frame this in a way that makes this trend seem like a social justice warrior tactic to combat the patriarchal savagery of men on the internet. Now obviously this is ridiculous and it didn't materialize in the way that the 4chaners hoped it would, but hey, they did get a picture of Boogie2988 squeezing his man boobs together, so I guess that counts for something. So all memes and jokes to the wayside, from August 31st and the next few days after that early September, this fappening thing was just going insane with everyone sharing these photos, but it wouldn't be long for the internet to sort of uh, calm down from the recent uptick in nude photographs. The fappening subreddit would be banned only a few days after its creation on September 6th and all the hype around the leaked nudes would eventually die out. But let's look a little bit deeper here and try to get an understanding of how these nudes were hacked in the first place. Many people thought it was some sort of flaw within Apple's iCloud data storage system which allowed for unauthorized users to gain access to certain targeted accounts. But Apple denied this and would release their official statement on September 2nd regarding the fappening. We wanted to provide an update to our investigation into the theft of photos of certain celebrities. When we learned of the theft, we were outraged and immediately mobilized Apple's engineers to discover the source. Our customers' privacy and security are of utmost importance to us. After more than 40 hours of investigation, we have discovered that certain celebrity accounts were compromised by a very targeted attack on usernames, passwords, and security questions, a practice that has come all too common on the internet. None of these cases we have investigated has resulted from any breach of Apple systems, including iCloud or Find My iPhone. We are continuing to work with law enforcement to help identify the criminals involved. What Apple was trying to dispel with the statement was that there was some sort of fundamental security flaw within the iCloud. They were saying that these hackers had deliberately targeted certain celebrity profiles and by using, you know, old school means of hacking like social engineering or some sort of advanced software. And guys, I know I'm walking in the weeds a little bit when I say advanced software, but just hang with me for a minute. Apple was saying that these hackers had used some sort of very targeted strategy to get the nude phone. Photos. It wasn't Apple's fault. This actually makes more sense than a general data breach considering that all the victims of the leak were female celebrities and not just random people. But in 2014 when the fappening happened and the Apple statement came out and no one really knew what was going on, any theory regarding the source of the iCloud leaks were pretty much just speculation. It wouldn't be until October 2014 when the FBI actually got some solid leads on who was responsible for the iCloud nude photo celebrity leaks. On October 2014, the FBI searched the house in Chicago and seized several computers, cell phones, and storage drives after tracking the source of a hacking attack to an IP address linked to an individual named Emilio Herrera. It seems to this Herrera individual that the FBI I was able to expose a network of hackers who were involved with the fappening leaks and some of these guys would end up being prosecuted. The most notable of the hackers was this guy. This was 36 year old Massachusetts man Ryan Collins and Collins doesn't fit the description of what you think as your typical 4chan-esque hacker. He was a married man with two children and worked for an e-commerce company. Through 2013 and 2014 Collins had allegedly formulated a phishing scam which targeted the celebrities involved in the fappening leak making use of a spoof Apple customer support email Apple privacy security. So this dude came up with an email phishing scam using this bogus Apple like customer support email and was sending, you know, misleading emails to these celebrities and they were falling for a hook, line, and sinker. In March 2016, Ryan Collins agreed to plead guilty to one count of unauthorized access to a protected computer to obtain information, resulting in an 18-month sentence. During the investigation, it was found that Collins fished by sending emails to the victims that looked like they came from Apple or Google, warning the victims that their accounts might be compromised and asked for their account details. The victims would enter their passwords and Collins gained access to their accounts, downloading the emails and iCloud backups. In October of 2016, Ryan Collins was sentenced to 18 months in prison. And aside from Ryan Collins, there were four other people involved with the fappening hacks. One of these guys got locked up and he was a school teacher. And allegedly this Virginia school teacher, Christopher Brannon, was using a similar phishing scheme that Ryan Collins was using. Not only was he using this phishing scheme for the iCloud nude celebrity leaks, he was also using it on fellow teachers at his school and students. And it's not known if he was trying to get nude photos from them, but regardless, that's some pretty sick stuff. 
So going into this story, I was completely unaware that people actually ended up facing jail time because of the vapening. But when you think about it, this is a very severe breach of someone's privacy to think that you were able to socially manipulate them into giving you your password and now you're leaking super high profile actors and artists nude photographs and they're just visible to everyone across the internet yeah i'm honestly not surprised someone got locked up thinking about it in hindsight but honestly though these celebrities you guys can't fall for these phishing email schemes i mean this shit's been going on since the 90s it's like internet 101 and you know what would have protected jennifer lawrence and kate upton from getting their accounts hacked in the first place if they had a subscription to the sponsor for today's video, Dashlane. Dashlane is a password protection app that works on all of your devices and it's something you should really look into if password security is something you highly value. The service remembers your passwords for you so you can have multiple unique passwords without the worry of forgetting them. Watch as Dashlane fills in your login information for you with autofills across the board saving you tons of time online. Hell, it even does checkout information too. Not only does Dashlane remember all of your passwords, it acts as a watchdog for all of your accounts linked to it. If for whatever reason there's a breach in one of your accounts, Dashlane will promptly notify you that a breach occurred and have you securely change the affected account information. Look guys, I've been using Dashlane for months now and my experience online with this password autofill is like super quick so i recommend you guys check out this product like i love this thing so check out the link in the description box www.dashlane.com slash wavy to try dashlane free and the first 200 to put in code wavy will get 10 percent off dashlane premium major shout out to my patrons wavy web surf out peace